made it along with my group, the Invaders of the Hearts, and it guest on it and Shanid uh, O'Connor. And uh, it was one of those ones that come up very easy. Um, I went round to Shanid O'Connor's husband, John Reynolds' house, because Shanid had offered to sing on the album. I got to know Shanid a couple of years ago and John. Uh, I played on her album and stuff, and she made the offer that she'd come and sing on our album if we wanted, which is lovely. So we went out to John's house with Justin Adams, my guitar player, and knocked uh, just a rough beat up, rough rhythm with a guitar melody, and I went home, knocked into shape a little bit, uh, wrote the words with Shanid in mind. It was all done in one evening, really. influenced by things is insp inspired by things, by movies, by music. Uh, Miles Davis was somebody who inspired me a lot. He's probably the main man for me. She was, his music was always changing, yet paradoxically it was always Miles. Egyptian music inspires. It brings out, when you inspire it, it's like it brings out that same quality inside of yourself. You know, movies can do that for me, books can do that. So it's more a question of what inspires me and people inspire me. There's always things, there's always hidden myths, everywhere in life, and within people, within the psyche, everywhere. So it's not just a, a, a collection of songs. Um, one, if one works off the unconscious, just allow something to happen, the, the themes form themselves from your, from your subconscious. The hard work comes in is putting into the, processing all that through the conscious mind, that's where the hard, hard work comes in. 
by way of imagination, make it at this time and place. You don't want to be playing sort of music that's that's not hip. <laughs> you know what I mean? You've got to be hip, you've got to be now. So that's where the hard work comes in. So um, it's it's more of an unconscious kind of a, a, of a process, actually. That's where it certainly originates from, and that's where the themes originate from. So it's, a, it's very ancient music. It's very eternal kind of a feel to it, um, yet could only be of today. Music. I like the, the music I made with Public Image. Um, what I did, punk, I owe a lot to because if it wasn't for punk, I would never have got into the music business. But I never did like punk music as such. It was kind of retrogressive rock and roll to me. It didn't really have the, the feel. It didn't have that feel. It didn't swing somehow. That that, that, that unknown kind of quantity, mysterious quantity that I liked to have in music. You know. It never gives up. You lose your ambition, your self-respect, your sense of judgment is circumspect. It promises to take you to the sunnier times where the air is cleaner and all the crime. There are no problems, no sense of time. I messed this game up with myself and I ended up working on the underground, which was a good experience as it happens. And I've done them crappy jobs in life, you know, worked in warehouses, worked down the market when I was 15. You know what, if people in this business come in, that's part of the game. Sometimes that can be part of the game. I consider myself a musician, really. It surprises me sometimes people want to talk to me. But I'd rather be doing this than digging a hole at six o'clock in the morning on some building site somewhere. I'd much rather be in the south of France with all the yachts outside. I think I could get used to this. And if I've got to shake a few hands and be nice to a few people, I'm very, very willing to pay that price. Those halls, they say, better than I. You see the music paints a blue sky. The sun got their kingdom. I survey once I love the sudden up of the way. And courage.
so happy with the group that I'm working with now, with Justin, Mark, Neville, um, and Ali, Christina. So happy working with them that my life's really full with good things at the moment anyway.